Hello, Arnaud de la Fouchardière from Lyon. In today's video, I will showcase a plexiform Spitz Nevis with an Arl Fusion. This has been chosen by the Twitter voting. As usual, I invite you to look at the virtual slide before. You will find the link in the description of the video below. The clinical data for this case was a growing nodule on the neck of a child. Here is a drawing I made of what I thought the, this lesion could look like. On this low power view, the lesion appears clearly exophytic. It's non ulcerated. We, we have large nest in the upper dermis and an expansion uh, that goes into the reticular dermis. The, there is a fibrotic background and a low pigmentation. To show you the plexiform architecture, I have painted all the cells in red and you can visualize the expansion into the deep dermis. Now moving to high power, let's look at the cytology. The cells are large, they are spindled with this eosinophilic cytoplasm. There's a few mitotic figures here and there, uh, and the nuclei is not very chromatic. There's often a small nucleoli. There is no real pleomorphism uh, of these cells. Within the fibrotic background, we see a, a multiple blood vessels with dilated uh, lumen and if we go uh, down downwards we see that just the, the size of the nest are diminishing and we exactly have the same cytology it's just the fascicles get smaller as we uh, get deeper into the into the dermis this is the alquan ihc that underscores the fascicular architecture if we zoom in we see it is a granular cytoplasmic uh, stain here are the other IHC results with a diffuse positivity of melan A, HMB45, and P16. So to sum up this case, it's a plexiform Spitz nevus with an ALK fusion. RNA sequencing identified melanophilin as the ALK partner. Here are the main uh, elements of diagnosis. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you soon for another case. It will be chosen after a vote on Twitter.